everybody and welcome to DevNet Create. We're so glad you joined us and I'm super excited you're here to learn more about DevNet. What is DevNet? I'm Ann Gentle and I work uh, as a developer experience manager in DevNet and I have the fortunate position of being able to help with all of the developer.cisco.com site content as well as the developer support system that we've built for you all. So let's get started. So you're here to find out more about DevNet. What is DevNet? It is Cisco's developer program. And we basically want it to be the place where Cisco customers, Cisco users, partners, individuals who want to learn more about programmability and APIs can come to developer.cisco.com and learn more. So it's the one-stop shop for everything to do with Cisco. So if you want to learn about sample code on these platforms, if you want to get to the API documentation, one of my personal favorites to work on, or if you just want to look into, hey, what does Cisco have to offer in terms of automation, programmability? I want to write some bots. That's the place to go. And here's the thing. We have a super strong belief in hands-on learning. So that's our motto. See it, learn it, code it. What's our mission? Well, our mission is three parts, and it's pretty simple. First, we want to make sure we help everyone grow in this modern economy. It's the API economy, as often called, so that you can build things that are basically what people expect in today's landscape. We also want to make sure we make innovation easy. So we'll help developers build solutions on top of Cisco platforms and using Cisco APIs. And then we want to make sure we're making DevNet developers successful, both in your business, building a business around these platforms, or in your career path. And I'll talk more about ways we're looking to do that with you. So what, we'll talk more about what we offer, but why are we here, right? What we've found over the last few years is that customers are asking, hey, I need to automate my infrastructure. I can't manage everything in spreadsheets anymore. I've got thousands of servers to deal with, thousands of network devices, so help me automate my infrastructure. And then there's the connection points, right? This is integration. Help people connect, integrate systems across the board. And that's what they're asking. We believe programmability and APIs are the engine that basically let you transform the business into this software-driven uh, infrastructure as code world. So how can we at Cisco help? Well, we definitely see that there's a new network, right? We have everything from intent-based networking to cognitive collaboration to secure networking, which of course everyone wants. And this new network is a large part of how we can start to help, hey, these are the platforms to build on. Because people want to deliver new experiences, right? So this is the modern economy. This is what people just kind of expect anymore. So at the base layer, you have your infrastructure, right? Cisco provides infrastructure across multiple areas. And this is the place where we're exposing APIs. And so that means you can start building solutions on top, right? And people are saying, hey, we need new experiences. We need new ways to look at our data or we need new ways to automate, right? They want and expect, and your customers expect as well, these new experiences. Hey, I'm in a retail store. I want a certain experience. You know what? I've got business data. I want to make sure people have access to it. And of course, these are applications. And so basically, these two are where partners and DevNet can come together. So we're working hard to help with integrating those workflows, integrating with third-party apps, and you know, produce these custom dashboards that people expect. This is what the developer APIs are enabling. It's letting people make these new experiences. So how does DevNet do that? Well, I'm super excited to talk to you about the DevNet Dev Centers. And this is a big part of our online presence and how we introduce these technologies. A good example is the, the IoT Developer Center. This has resources, including documentation. It has links to the DevNet sandboxes so that you can actually try out these things. And it lets you basically get hands-on, get tutorials, find out about specific technologies and dig into those with getting your hands a little dirty, right? And so this is pretty typical. We have use cases. 
API documentation, and this is actually repeated across multiple technologies. So these are the Cisco platforms that have a dev center, right? And here's the thing, if you go to our website, you'll find that we are working hard to cater to do different types of developers, right? So there's the infrastructure developers. They're from operations, probably. They're concerned with making DevOps workflows. They want to treat the infrastructure as code. They care about automation. They care about observability. They're wanting to monitor. And they want to be able to consistently and reliably you know, provide the infrastructure in a way that people can consume in a code-based way. And then secondly, we have our app developers. And so they're the ones who maybe have been working in software for a while, and they're looking at Cisco and saying, hey, you know what, there are some collaboration or IoT pieces or mobile apps that make a lot of sense for me to work on and figure out how they work within a Cisco context. Let's start from the top page. We've talked a little bit about the developer centers, but now we'll just take the top down look. And under get started with what DevNet has to offer, you'll find six different areas and I'll walk through those so you can get an idea of what each is about. First of all, we have the start now. Now I guess if you're at this session, you're definitely trying to say, well, this is great. There's a lot of stuff, but where do I start? And so we created that exactly for this purpose to be able to give you curated collections of learning materials, of API materials, and it's basically that port of call for everyone who's just saying, I need to figure out how to get started, help me out. These are bite-sized pieces and a curated collection based on technology groupings. And that's where you'll also find entry points into study materials for certifications, DevNet sandboxes. But another entry point for DevNet sandbox is the DevNet tracks. And so these are learning tracks that have been put together specifically so that you can go through maybe hours worth of content, but it's also broken down into modules or labs, depending on how much time you have to get going on something. Another great learning resource is this uh, learning the network programmability basics with Hank Preston. This is a great introduction because not only does he provide like the context and background on the concepts, why does this matter? But there are also code examples and you can go directly to get those code repos. He's showing you how to walk through them yourself. Next we have the DevNet Sandbox. And frankly, this is our most popular offering on the DevNet site. So this is a chance for you to try out Cisco gear, right? It's not like a lot of us have a million dollars worth of Cisco gear just sitting in a guest room ready to go, right? The DevNet Sandbox lets you have access to this gear. And there's different ways to get it, right? So we could have hardware-based labs, we could have virtual labs, and then just a pure developer environment that just gives you the tools you need so that you don't have to set it up all locally. You can bring it up, tear it down, right at the ready. And this is a lot geared towards how to, how to work with a product, how to configure a product. And again, it lets you explore. It's a sandbox. It's meant to be played with. Now, next is our more recent offering, honestly, is we're, we're working on making sure that people who come to DevNet understand that you can get code examples. And so we created the, the Cisco Code Exchange. And the Code Exchange is basically a way to not only um, find the, the different solutions, but share the ones you've been working on out in the community, right? This links directly to the GitHub organizations and GitHub repos that have these basically really good snippets or really good examples or really handy scripts. Say you wanna figure out how to build a list of network devices uh, on your DNA center. Well, this will have code snippets that do exactly that. And this also helps you practice with Python. So this is a really good way to get hands on again because that is one of our core beliefs. Now, a related offering to Code Exchange is the new Automation Exchange. And so these are even further curated so that you can find exact automation use cases. So they're examples that have been written up in such a way that you can see how they apply to a business solution or apply to some automation scenario. Network automation, IoT automation, you name it. These are the kinds of things you can find in the Automation Exchange. 
And then one more exchange we have is the ecosystem exchange. And so this is a place to basically get access to a catalog, probably more than 1,500 solutions, and a chance for partners to showcase hey, this is the technology we're experts in, and these are the solutions we offer. And then our intent is also to connect customers who are looking at this and saying, hey, I need this solution. Who actually could do this for me in a super efficient, productive way? And so it includes Solutions Plus partners and the specialization partners that I will get into in a little bit. And so this is where we can showcase that type of partner who's doing these software skills, getting these software skill sets going. So now we've looked at all of the website in brief, but the thing is, DevNet is just not only about our website. Most of all, DevNet is about you. You took the time to come to DevNet Create, you're taking the time to come to events with us, and you are making our community what matters in the world, right? So while we have had to go to virtual events and we miss you all at our in-person events, Believe me when I say DevNet is you, you're making DevNet the success it is today. So now let's look at the different parts of DevNet, right? Let's categorize them a little bit. And of course it's about the DevNet community, over 500,000 members strong. And that is exactly what we want is more and more people joining in our belief to get hands on. So that's why the community is there for, that's why code exchange is there for the community. That's why we've put together automation exchange and ecosystem exchange. And so it's a way to basically amplify the community, amplify the messages. And then of course, in our learning section, that's a huge part of what we provide as well. So. DevNet Express workshops, those two days, hands-on, you're going to get going with Python, you're going to learn Cisco APIs, maybe they're the ones in collaboration, maybe they're the ones in security. It's a, it's a workshop for each different sort of collection of Cisco technologies. And then I walked through the learning labs, the DevNet sandbox, and all of these ways that we build these online experiences for Dev Centers. And what I want to dig into more next is DevNet certification under the learning part and under partner transformation in the DevNet specialization. And here's the thing, we are hearing people want the IT team in the future. They basically want to bring these together, infrastructure skills with software skills. And here's the thing, we can build this together. DevNet has a super strong belief that we're going to help those individuals become the people with those skills, and then those individuals make the teams that are these teams that can put together the pieces and parts to make a coherent automation workflow story. And we've heard it in our community, right? People are saying, hey, I've been working on automation for the last couple of years. I would love to have a better way to just show what I know and, and give me that direct path, right? Well, enter DevNet certifications. And so these are a chance for people to show this is what they know. And here's the thing, Cisco certifications are well known, globally recognized and highly touted in the technology world, right? And so we've always had this engineering track. These are super familiar to you, CCNA, CCNP, CCIP, CCIE, sorry. And so these are the ones that have been around for years. And so what we've done is taken the engineering track and mirrored it with a software track for the DevNet certifications. And so CCNA mirrors with DevNet Associate. You have a DevNet Specialist, the DevNet Professional, and soon to come the DevNet Expert. And so the goal is to enable you to build your skills, show what you know, and earn these certifications. Now let's just look at the parallels and, and how these kind of track together, right? And we can use the CCNA compared to the DevNet Associate. So these are associate level. And in the engineering track with CCNA, it's definitely gonna be about 80% network fundamentals and maybe 20% on the automation and programmability and API portion, right? Well, with the DevNet Associate, we have flipped the script. And so and you have 80% on your software skills and 20% on network fundamentals. And I tell you, I've taken this exam, it's a lot of fun and pretty hard to pass, but really great to see this ability to have the knowledge domains just flipped a little bit. So what is it that we are seeing as far as the ways you can progress, right? 
So DevNet Associate is basically where you have an exam, it's proving that you have this ability to understand applications that, li that live in the, Cisco, in the Cisco platform and that it is a single exam, right? Then we get into the DevNet Specialist. So the Specialist requires passing an exam, but this exam is going to be in a specialty area. So basically within a technology like WebEx or DevOps or IoT. And then the third one is the DevNet Professional. And so this one is a comprehensive exam, and it's basically coupled with the specialist. So the professional says, I have a software developer concentration, and then I can enter into a focus area in the DevNet specialist, such as collaboration, such as networking automation. And so what are these building towards? Well, these are building towards the new job roles that we're seeing. And so basically the new job roles are Let's call one the network automation developer. This is one we're hearing about where basically they want to be able to show I know software development and I can automate on Cisco platforms, including these complicated enterprise automation level things. Another one is DevSecOps. This is basically marrying DevOps with security. And so this is where your specialty area would be, hey, I know the platforms that Cisco provides that are programmable related to security. And then the third one is web scale engineer. And so this is people who are working on things at large scale, right? These are the huge user apps or the giant websites and keeping those running and keeping them running in a super secure automated way. So what have we made that helps you train for these new job roles? Say one of these has you pretty excited. Well, here's the thing. We have new training courses, and these are supporting these new certifications. We worked really hard on these over the last year, so I definitely hope you'll get a chance to check them out. And I'll talk about ways you can take a look at these. So we announced this, and the exams have been available since February in 2020 and here's the thing we said hey community we want to challenge you we want to build together a special group called the devnet 500. well guess what this was achieved in 16 days awarded to anybody who took and passed an exam in one of these areas as a devnet certification and here's the thing people were super excited about this and really got behind the idea that you know they'll donate 500 dollars to a charity of the of the employer's choice if they pass. And they were able to recognize people in these tweets heard around the world, right? So this was really exciting. And here's the thing, the Devna 500 was met in 16 days, but we still wanna make sure you can get into the class of 2020. And we've got months to go for that. So let's look at some of the resources available to help you meet those goals. We have a lot of things ready for you to help out with certification exams, including training groups that you can study together and a new automation boot camp. So let's take a look. So basically, we all know we're in a global pandemic that's pretty obvious by now, and that actually gave us the, the way to cross the finish line in offering online exams. So we are able to offer with Pearson View online exams that you take from your house on your computer. If you buy an exam voucher, it's good for a year, and you don't have to travel to the training, the training center or exam center anymore. And so this is through Pearson View. So go ahead and, you know, if you want to find out more, go to pearsonview.com slash Cisco. And we're just super happy that, yes, it was a pandemic that took it over the line, but we're so glad we can start to offer these. And then the other one I alluded to earlier is all these training pieces that we put together. And with digital learning subscriptions, you can buy, you know, a 12 month subscription and that gives you unlimited access. And you can even pick within a technology area that you want to focus in. And so if you're the type of person who wants to plan out your schedule, plan out your studying, these are the kinds of things that are super handy. There's video courses, there's infrastructure backed hands on labs so that you can as we always believe in, really try these out for yourself. And so if you do the annual subscription, you're going to get access to webinars that, that really help you learn more live, right? And then also best practices. We all want to like learn this together, keep improving these training offers, and keep moving them into this new online world. 
So also on DevNet itself, we've created a couple of new tools. And so these are ones to help you prepare. So this is a next generation learning experience and it's pretty cool. Inside of your browser, you actually have access to a terminal window that pops up in about eight seconds. And so while we do teach you that you want to have a development environment locally that you can learn and train on, there's also the opportunity to just keep practicing, get your fingers that muscle memory in how to write Python and how to do it efficiently. And then coupled with that, we have the DevNet study groups. So while you can go through the fundamentals course on your own as a self-study, we also have a way for you to get together with other learners and have study group leaders. So you get to have discussions, you get to meet and understand things together and ask each other questions, as well as have a study group leader available for you to ask questions of. And it's basically coupled you know, with the training and the study groups, three months access, get it done, make sure you use your time efficiently. And all that's under developer.cisco.com slash certification. And our next offering is the DevNet Automation Bootcamp. And so this is for people who are interested in some in-depth automation training for up to 12 uh, on a team. And it basically gives this five-day tailored um, class and it's via video conference, of course. Um, but it lets you have, first of all, a lot of training and learning, and then you get this four-day automation deep dive. And so that's focused on your use cases. What are you trying to get in your teams, in your environment? And so it, it basically helps you jumpstart your Net DevOps transformation, jumpstart with a boot camp. So all of those are great and an awesome way to prepare, but a really great offer also is the DevNet specialization for partners. And so this gives us a chance to recognize those people, those partners, those teams that have put together a software practice where they can demonstrate, hey, we know how to deliver software, we know how to support software, and it's a piece of our business practice. And so we launched this on May 27th with two levels, specialized and advanced. So what are the requirements? Let's take a closer look. So the requirements are in different parts. And so first, as part of the requirement, you have to show that your business processes support the whole software, the sole software world and a software based and very software driven business. Make sure you have processes, make sure you have procedures, make sure you know how to support software. All of those things are super important. But then of course, in addition to your business processes, you want to make sure you have people who are ready to deliver these, right? So we want to make sure that you have a certain number of certified technicians with DevNet certification on your teams. And so they can show, hey, we've implemented, hey, we've been producing these solutions. And that's kind of a good proof point, right? And then last of all, these three categories are basically what it's all about, right? Software offers. So can you give us code examples? Are you sharing those code examples with the community? Do you have customer references? And then we have a practical piece where inside of a created environment, can you show us that your abilities are in the moment and hands on within this controlled code environment? And so that's all the requirements and it's kind of a high bar to enter, right? But it's worth it. So what are the specialization benefits? And so we want to make sure that we're building groups that have early access to the APIs coming, what features are being built in the APIs. We want to give you developer support tickets. So 20 tickets a year for specialized, 30 tickets a year for advanced. And that gives you the chance to, you know, really make sure that you're building the solutions or if you get stuck, DevNet's here to help. And then you're also enabled to run DevNet Express training events. And that's that two day deep dive into particular technologies. And you basically get to run those using our infrastructure, using our training materials. And it's a really well run, tightly run ship that lets you give those two day workshops. And then if there's a certain Cisco technology you've been wanting to look at or wanting to try, you can get discounts for internal use for that product. And then of course you're going to get the DevNet specialization logo and an ability to show your solutions in the ecosystem exchange. And so that's your chance to make that your landing page for your DevNet offerings. 
And then, of course, we want to make sure you have access to our amplification channels, right? So co-marketing with you and basically giving you access to these demand gen opportunities. So that was a lot about DevNet partner specialization, but I'm going to bring it all home to kind of show you here's how you can engage with DevNet. So we've covered these today. DevNet start now. If you're just wondering, hey, where can I get going? This is the place to land. And then if you're like, hey, I have some of these skills already and I'd like to show what I know, then you're going to look into DevNet certifications. And if you're in the partner world, we would love for you to come to your own landing page to check out DevNet specialization for partners. So I'm going to wrap it up and I want to say DevNet is here for you and DevNet is also the community that we've built that we want to build with you. So I welcome you to come with us and build the automation future together.